Hi guys, so today I'm going to be making a monster cake which was actually inspired by one of you guys because I was just on Instagram the other day saying how I'm not feeling the Halloween looks this year when I usually do a bunch but I'm here today just to do this cute little monster cake we got a cookies and cream cake base with some chocolate ganache so yeah let's jump straight onto the recipe i've got 380 grams of granulated sugar then i'm going to use 180 ml of vegetable oil and three eggs a little bit of vanilla extract and we're just going to mix this up until it gets light and fluffy now whilst I'm mixing, I just want to give today's post notification shout out to our team mystery. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below, or you can just leave a nice comment. So now you want your mixture to be looking something like this. And now I'm going to be adding some plain yogurt. Now the recipe says sour cream, but I only had plain yogurt at hand. And this is 118 ml or half a cup of plain yogurt. I will leave the link to the recipe that I used in the info box. Now we're going to go into our dry ingredients. I've got 350 grams of all-purpose flour which I split in two, a teaspoon of baking powder and I also used 296 ml of milk which I split in two as well. So I'm doing everything in two parts and you just want to give this a good mix. Put the rest of the flour in, the rest of the milk and again whisk this through. Now you don't want to be mixing this too long just do like quick zaps of it so you're not putting you're not getting rid of too much of the air so now i use about 18 oreo cookies kind of crush them in a ziploc bag and we're going to add this to our mixture literally this is the style of the show which really gave a yummy taste and kind of like a chewy taste of the cake as well it's so weird but it's so yum and it's my first time making a cookies and cream kind of like cake base but this bit's so satisfying like it looks yummy it looks like a milkshake i could drink now so this is the best way I like to um, line my cake tins. These are eight inch cake tins that I've put parchment paper underneath and buttered the edges. And I'm just eyeballing the measurements here. You can use a scale to equally measure this, but I just did it randomly. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes, 175 degrees Celsius. So now onto our buttercream frosting. I've done this a million times on my channel, but I'll show you guys anyways. Um, this is 150 grams of uh, room temperature unsalted butter. So you want it to get it light and fluffy like this. I kind of whisk it for five minutes or so. And then I'm using around 400 grams of icing sugar, which I split in two because it does get everywhere if you do it all in one go. And as you mix it, you'll see it it will get a nice and creamy consistency now you you can put some milk if it gets too thick which is what i did i'll just put a splash of milk in there and i put a little bit too much so i ended up putting some more icing sugar in there but just eyeball it guys i find that when i just go as i do it it just turns out great so i'm just scraping the edges because sometimes butter can get stuck on the edges and doesn't mix in just put in a bit more icing sugar and a bit of vanilla essence extract I mean <laughs> and giving this a good mix I'm now taking a bit of the buttercream mixture and putting it aside because we're going to use two colors I put only a little bit aside though and can we appreciate this little tiny teaspoon that my mum had in a drawer I mean how tiny is it but yeah I'm using some blue food coloring that I got from Amazon which I'll link in the info box and I put a good dollop in there because I wanted the icing to be quite opaque and now I'm going to use some purple food coloring in the little dollop of uh, buttercream that I had because I want to use two colors for the monster so now I took my cakes out this one kind of gave up on me had a big sinkhole in the middle and I didn't know what to do with it at first but I used it for the top later to give a more dome shape to the cake so I used the two good um, cake layers at the bottom and I really love this Betty Crocker um, chocolate fudge filling 
I already ate it with my finger <laughs> um, but I'm gonna put a good dollop of this in between the cake layers this really added to the cake because it was so so yummy I honestly I know it's a bit of cheating I know I know I could have made it myself but this one's really good and I was feeling a bit lazy okay so I'm gonna put the second layer on now if you want you can actually put this in the freezer or fridge and then trim the edges so it's nice and straight but I, again because of the piping style that I was using I wasn't too bothered about straight edges and I'm cutting up the dodgy cake layer into pieces and kind of constructing you know molding the top layer and this is what really gave like a dome shape to the cake as well which I felt fit the purpose you know I did forget to put my chocolate fudge filling so once I was done constructing I took the layer off and quickly put a dollop of the filling underneath. So now we can start decorating. I got a special piping nozzle from Amazon which kind of has this kind of squiggly stringy effect. Um, I'll link it in the info box, it was actually quite affordable. I feel like I have every piping nozzle that's available on this planet. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys watch this bit. I just literally piped the whole cake with the two colors randomly. And yeah. So I'm going to clean up the edges and I got these goggly eyes from Amazon, they're really large ones I would say. I was trying to decide if I wanted one eye or two or three, like where to put it, but I ended up going with three. And I must say this was weird, you know, looking at it in the fridge, it's like this thing looking right back at you as you open the fridge door, which is something you don't really expect. Um, so yeah, that's what my cake is looking like. I was actually quite proud of it. Oh, I used some of the chocolate um, ganache to do the mouth and the pointy teeth. I mean, it's so messy, but I don't know. It just looks like one of those Halloween ki kids cakes. This was actually quite easy to do and really fun. And I got a normal knife out this time. Okay, I ain't got my butcher's knife. <laughs> And it was a bit messy on the top because honestly the cake um, was supposed to be in a fridge but I didn't put it this time. But here's a better shot of the cake when I got it later on in the evening and honestly the chocolate ganache in the middle really like completed this cake. So yeah I was really really pleased with it. It was definitely different and new learning experience for me guys as well. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you're up for Halloween because I ain't doing nothing special. I don't know about you but anyways i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye